G'day my little robins, it's me Beth, another week has passed for me to get another video from Well Me and I'm back with another video reaction and this week's video I'll be reacting to is Shock Horror if you haven't already read the title. I'm reacting to the new music video by Hollywood Undead titled We Own The Night. Now for those of you unaware, I have reviewed all the songs off you know, their upcoming album 5 which drops at the end of October and I haven't been, you know, the nicest person when it came to reviewing the songs. But I have high hopes from what I've heard of We Own The Night that I actually might like it, that it actually sounds like a bit of old school Hollywood Undead. So I'm really looking forward to that. Disclaimer before we start the video, I've had quite a few people, you know, say quite mean things on some of the videos, you know, on Tumblr, on Twitter, on Wattpad. Like about the fact that oh, I'm a fake fan, that I'm angry, I'm living in the past when it comes to Hollywood Undead. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Yeah, this is just my first reaction of, you know, Hollywood Undead, We Own the Night. I can say whatever the hell I want. I've been a fan since 2009, so I like the band. I just haven't liked their last few releases. Fingers crossed I like this one. Before we start the video, if you want to support me and the channel, click like, hit subscribe because there's nothing stopping you and I upload twice a week on a Monday and a Friday. But let's just dive right into this Hollywood Undead We Are In The Night reaction video. Let's press play. I'm going to turn the volume up slightly. I already like it. They're back! I quite like... I like the aesthetic they're going for with... All the colours. Ooh, I like... I like how you've got the band, you know, without the mask singing, and then when you get, you know, the arty shots, you actually see them wearing their new masks. J-Dog is my favourite. <laughs> this, it sounds like old school Hollywood and Dead. It sounds like something that would be very much at home on the American Tragedy album. I said that oh, they, 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 there wasn't enough rap in like the last release. They listened to me. <laughs> I just love Danny's blonde hair. I love the new mask designs. They are in the night. Hollywood and Dead's back. I love my boys. I'm happy. Oh, Dylan. Charlie C. I like that they all seem to have, you know, their individual verses. That's quite, that's quite nice, the fact that, you know, they all get to show their talents. I can't remember the name of the song off the Day of the Dead album, where they actually all had their individual verses, and I really liked that song, and so I'm kind of happy that in this sense they brought that back because each band member is extremely talented. I just like that how like the other four members are just standing there while Danny's doing all these hand movements and they're just like what have we got ourselves into. I love the aesthetics of the video. I have no idea what image they're going for, but... Now they're in a car, there's bats, there's lights. It's like a drug trip. You like an acid, it's an acid trip. I would love to know the meaning behind this video. Because the others I've been able to kind of get a similar... I've been able to find the meaning. But this one... I'm a bit confused. It's pretty, 
is it pretty much saying that like they are in the night, they're like immortal in a way? Because they they say, they, one of the lyrics is we never die. Danny's just so passionate in this. going to stop it. Oh my good golly Miss Dolly Hollywood and Dead are back and I didn't think I would actually... <gasps> okay I stick by you know my opinions you know on their previous releases of their upcoming album but damn it we own the night and my light has just gone yellow because the sun is being a bitch today. God damn it sun you don't own the night. Anyway, yeah, Hollywood and Dead, what can I say? I have shat on their last few releases, I've given them very low ratings, I've not looked favourably on them because I'm like, oh, it doesn't sound like Hollywood and Dead that I remember. I love the fact, you know, that, you know, they're branching out. With Hollywood and Dead, people have pointed out, you know, that each album, you know, sounds slightly different than the last. But just these previous releases of, you know, their upcoming album 5, you know, have had me thinking, oh... Am I no longer going to be a fan of the band? You know, do I have to grow up? But then they release a video like We Own The Night and I'm just like, nope, nope, nope. I'm back, I'm back, I love you. As I said while the video was playing, this would fit very much at home, I believe, on, you know, the American Tragedy album. You know, it just had, you know, the same, like, the video aesthetic with, you know, the lights, you know, the quick camera, like, changes, or the visuals. It reminds me of the visuals for the song Levitate, which is one of my favourite Hollywood and Dead songs off American Tragedy. Yeah. Damn. I have nothing bad to say. This is actually a positive Hollywood and Dead video reaction. This, th th these things don't happen that often, so you know, don't get your hopes up. But like I said to someone who made a comment about um, that I'm a fake fan, I'm a hater, I'm living in the old days. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion and I don't think I can name one person I know who likes every single song a band releases on an album. There's always going to be songs on an album that you just don't relate to, you just don't like. You don't have to like every single song by the band, you know, to be considered like, oh, you're a hardcore fan. Because if you like every song by a band, you know, in a way it's kind of a cop-out because you have to have some sort of opinion. Not everyone likes everything that's released and I hold my hands up. This for me gives me very high hopes, you know, for the album and I can't wait to see them on tour in the UK next year. If I had to give, you know, We Own The Night a rating out of 5, I'm giving Hollywood Undead We Own The Night a solid 4 out of 5, which is a very big increase from I think, you know, I've given them a couple of 2s in the past. Hollywood Undead are back. You know, if they continue making, you know, these kinds of videos, you know, I'll, I'll be back as a fan. Whew, yeah. In the comments below, I'd love to hear, you know, your guys' thoughts and opinions, you know, on the song, the band, do you like the video, you know, have you been a fan of, you know, their change in sound, what's your favourite Hollywood and Dead song and album from the past? Whew. While you're down there, you can also check out all the links to my social media, because why the hell not? You can click my face right here to subscribe to the channel, you can click that like button, you can also check out my last two videos or playlists right here, depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this video later. But you know, until next week, I am Beth. Thank fuck Hollywood Undead is back. Goodbye.